Did you know that trusting your gut is biologically, psychologically, and spiritually valid? Well, if you didn't know that already, you're about to find out why that is. I'm Laura Nicola, I'm your faithful therapist. Thanks for being here and learning about intuition and our gut reactions. biological. So in our bodies, we have both a sympathetic and a parasympathetic nervous system. The sympathetic nervous system is responsible for the involuntary reactions to situations outside of ourselves that are stressful or distressing or potentially dangerous. The parasympathetic system is the one that exists kind of when we're more in a dormant stage, we're not perceiving any threats, um, we're not, you know, experiencing any danger. The sympathetic nervous system is the one that's responsible for the fight or flight mode, and the parasympathetic one is just kind of, if it's too extreme, it could be the freeze response, but most of the time it's just pretty much what we most of the time experience most of our day. So let's Let's talk specifically in the parasympathetic nervous system. That's what is gonna to apply to our gut instinct. So in our parasympathetic nervous system is what's called the vagus nerve. This connects our digestive system up to our brain. So some scientists call our, our gut or our stomach our second brain, and that's because of the, the vagus nerve. It's because our body sends signals to and from our brain going to our digestive system or our gut or our stomach. It also goes to our lungs and our heart, but we're focusing here primarily on the digestive system. So our gut and our brain communicate through chemicals in our brain and through this nerve. And as it does that, it explains why we have physical symptoms related to mental health struggles and reciprocal to that we have emotional symptoms when we have physical ailments so you can see that it's reciprocal in that way so although you know you may have a physical sensation of i think this is right or wrong coming from your gut it's going to be communicated up to your brain where obviously you know you process the information that's being given to you by your own body. Now, the disruption of this process, um, signals you know, given to us by our gut, sometimes if there is a disruption there, that's where mental disorders oftentimes come from. So trauma is the most obvious of them. You know, if I'm triggered into a, a you know, seeing a situation as dangerous and I'm perceiving it that way, I'm gonna have less time to react in my brain and my mind because that part, it, the, the um, communication between my gut and my brain is gonna be delayed or inhibited or um, just kind of, it's gonna send me like false signals. Um, so our body, you know, it might be triggered into that fight or flight response again, involuntarily from that sympathetic nervous system part. And it might be difficult during those times to keep our frontal lobe, our mind, which is responsible for thinking and processing and problem solving. It might be difficult for that part of our brain to remain online, so, so to speak. Um, and it, it's harder than to become aware of what our body is trying to tell us if our brains are shut down and not being able to do the work. That's where, I mean, a lot of great therapy, um, such as EMDR, for example, whole nother video on that, check that out if you're interested. But that's where, you know, trauma treatments like that come into play. So it tries to allow us to expand and like work on and heal the vagus nerve so that we can communicate back and forth between our gut and our brain. It's fascinating stuff. So, Integrating the two is obviously really helpful. But what about the spiritual validity part of what I said? 
Well, it's it's not called the gut instinct when we talk about it spiritually, right? Um, really, it's called our conscious. It's a subset of our beautiful minds that God created, you know, that, that gives us that feeling of, I think this is wrong, or yeah, this is safe and this is right. God gave us our intellect and he gave us our will. So we believe in free will, right? So we are able to choose what we do in our behaviors and our thoughts and pretty much every aspect of our life. But God gave us our intellect so that we can use our brain to stay connected to what we think is right and wrong. And the Holy Spirit is a huge part of that. The Holy Spirit, you know, he, he indwells in us and is able to kind of guide us in knowing what an instinct might be. I had someone uh, describe the, the um, gifts of the Holy Spirit as kind of always lying dormant for everybody until they choose to activate it or they ask God for an increase in that gift, which I thought was really cool because it's just, it's a gift given, well, seven gifts given to us by God that we can use at any time if we're willing to do so. The seven gifts, I mean, you can Google them later. I Let's see, I always forget what they are offhand, but they're knowledge, understanding, wisdom, counsel, piety, fear or reverence, and fortitude. So look those up because I think those oftentimes can guide what we would call, you know, intuition or our gut instinct. When really, if we choose to activate a gift from the Holy Spirit, that's gonna serve us even better. So, Again, like I just, I love the mind, body, soul connection. And I think this video is like a really great example of how God created us, you know, to be in unity with all three of those. And so we, we you know, we have to nurture all three components. You know, we have to take care of our physical health. You know, we have to take care of our, di our digestive system. You know, we have to pay attention to what we're eating and what we're drinking and how much we're exercising and how much sleep we're getting, all of those physical components, right? I mean, we also have to take care of our brains and our minds. You know, we do this with mindfulness and self-care and prayer and therapy, you know, maybe healing from traumas, you know, that we need to. And then of course, you know, we try to remain as spiritually healthy as possible, you know, by, by evoking those gifts of the Holy Spirit, by remaining constant in prayer and with the sacraments, and, you know, all three of these allow us to feel capable of listening to our gut. So intuition and gut, you know, our gut reaction, they're all connected. And again, there's, there's physical, bi biological, psychological, and spiritual components. What are your thoughts on this? Is this new information? Is this not new information? Have you ever had one of those experiences where you just have a gut instinct and you go with it and you're right. That's like the best feeling, right? Have you experienced this? I don't know, leave me comments, leave me stories. I would love to hear about them. Um, I think it's a fascinating topic to talk about this. And again, it's just integrating, you know, our physical and mental health along with our spiritual. So um, yeah, really passionate about it. So leave me comments, please subscribe if you haven't to my channel for weekly videos. Also be sure to follow me on Instagram and Facebook and yeah, as always, have a blessed Saturday.